Fit Gear Hunter, and today we're going to start a series of little video snippets, and we're going to talk about different random topics as you, you know different topics come up. I just thought I'd do a number of video shorts. So today's video short, and as always, the channel is focused on testing and tracking devices for CrossFit and high intensity interval training versus all the running and biking videos out there. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. There's a lot of content coming out. And today's video is Garmin is definitely up to something. I don't know exactly what, but I want to share a couple of updates and details. And Garmin has this unique feature of slipping things in under the radar. So they did advanced sleep tracking. They incorporated a new widget in the Phoenix 6 line, but they didn't make a big to-do about it. It wasn't a huge announcement. They did improve recovery time, where instead of just the exertion tracked, you know, like how much exertion in that one workout you know, determines how much recovery time you likely should need, but they tied it in now to sleep and to body battery to determine if you need more or less recovery than just what the workout impact had on you. They also added track mode where it'll sort of hone in on a track once you first sort of calibrate it. Interesting stuff that they didn't announce, they just sort of snuck it in where other companies are doing similar things or not all of them doing this kind of high quality stuff, but they're not, you know, everybody's sort of announcing it, Garmin's slipping them in. And now there's a number of different things that are upcoming that are pointing to something else, some other new feature or some other new watch. So recently they released a badge where if you run 80 hours in a month, you can get the 80 hour a month run badge. That's a lot of running. If you think about it specifically, that's 18.6 hours in a week, but that's 2.65 hours a day average. I don't even know if the watch can handle that. I mean, the battery life on the watch is on the line on the market today. Uh, that would be a challenge to keep up with unless you're just constantly charging it with that much running, but an 80 hour badge. And then what did they release? They released the Trail Run VO2 Max. So it used to be, you know, obviously all along you could run, you could do a running VO2 Max or a cycling VO2 Max, but now they have a trail running VO2 Max, which takes into account your elevation changes over time, which I always thought made sense. I always want to do my running for a VO2 Max score to track it on a flat track. So that it's not based on elevation changes, how it affected my heart and my breathing and my speed. So now they have a trail running that takes that into account. And last but not least, I did the update is a beta release 15.02 that came out on February 3rd. Today's February 9th, if you're keeping track. So downloaded it last night and there's an Ultra Run Sport Profile. So a brand new Ultra Run Sport Profile. I was also like, I, I don't know if it's a constant thing, but there's this watch usage widget you can add in there. But Ultra Run Sport Profile. 80 hours of running in a month, trail run VO2 max, ultra run sport pro profile. These are lending towards something is coming and it's coming really soon because they're incorporating all the features in the Phoenix 6 line for an upcoming release. So let's take a look at it hands on and come back together. Okay, so what do you see like coming in to new features? And this is, I did the beta and I apologize, there's a a bezel protector screen on here. So it's gonna look a little different than most of the titanium. This is just the Phoenix 6 titanium. Um, and what are the feature differences? Well, they added some new things that I think are an indicator of what's coming. Um, what's coming in the form of, you know, some new features on a new watch they're releasing in the next couple of weeks. So the first one I noticed is that when I went to set up this watch, cause it was new to me, um, it's got this ultra run option. And when you click into the ultra run, you know, it's just gonna give you daily suggestions for an ultra runner type of um, pace. But you can see it's just got a total descent and an ascent, vertical speed. This ties into the Climb Pro features. So you can see the map there. But just the fact that it's got Ultra Run built in is an indication of something different. Now, I don't know. I don't think the Ultra Run was available as an option. The other thing that you can see is a new feature um, that I haven't added to it is Trail Run. So now you can get a VO2 Max. It used to be you can only do a VO2 Max evaluation for running and for biking, but now they have it available for Trail Run, which will take into account your elevation changes to evaluate a VO2 max based on not just the speed and the heart rate, but on the trail run itself. So just interesting features there that are coming down. The other thing that's sort of odd is there's this new uh, widget called device usage, which I don't even know what it really means. There's the update. That's the beta update. It can tell you how much time you spent in different fields and then you click into it and it's got a secondary screen which just talks about how much time you spent you know looking at different things gps wi-fi um, amp plus 
I don't even know, is like, is this really supposed to be on there? I don't know how this is going to tie into a new watch release, but obviously the Ultra, um, you know, the Ultra Run and the Trail Run VO2 Max are two new features which tie into um, something that is definitely coming. Um, it's like it's just they're starting to prep the backbone of the watches for some incoming device. Okay, so what all these say, and I didn't get into the details. One of the things I didn't even mention is on the Ultra Running profile, The one of the weird things is if you hit the lap button on the bottom right where it normally would just track your next lap time, it starts a rest time. So it starts like a rest mid run, and then when you hit it again, it'll start it back up for a continuation of the run. So all of these things point to a new watch is on the horizon and it is focused on the ultra runner community. You can read sort of different Reddit and different headlines and different features, reviewers that are focusing on different things. And there's definitely some talk of an Enduro. It's called the Enduro, or it looks like it's called the Enduro. I have no connection to Garmin, so I don't know any real information. But from what I've read, obviously, I just wanted to share the features. So there's a lot of talk about what the watch could be, but it definitely is imminent, it definitely is coming, and it is definitely focused on the ultra runner world. So with that, Fit Gear Hunter, thanks so much for watching.